Okay, so this is a new video that I think is kind of cool. It's an interesting uh, concept that I think is worth investigation, worthy of investigation or study. Um, from this drawing that I have here, um, and, and there's a number of points I wanted to touch upon that, that may or may not, you know, I don't know how valid they all are, but this basic concept is certainly uh, very interesting. The Earth uh, at the heading here it says the earth at center of magnetic spin forces so what I've done is I've taken a, a geocentric kind of model earth at center and I just kind of did all the planets here I didn't name them because it was just kind of every time I did it it got too messy but what's going on here is the earth is at the center and then you have the moon and the you know the all the other planets and then the Sun Jupiter etc and what I've done is I've connected all of the planets through um, magnetic um, currents, basically. Now, I'm not saying this is exactly how it flows in, in nature and in life, but, but the, the sense of it is, is that there are magnetic spins underlying um, all of the structures and patterns in nature all throughout space, and that, that what happens is you have resulting magnetic currents and that magnetic currents flow north and south and I've, I've kind of outlined these kind of ideas in a number of videos I mean a lot of videos under a Nimpo Warrior G that channel um, so this is the basic concept of a geocentric kind of model and what's interesting about it is is that these two points these two principles uh, geocentric, a geocentric model is, is astrology, it's astrological, and a heliocentric model is astronomy. So, let me say that again. Geocentric, a geocentric model is astrology or astrological, and a heliocentric model is astro astronomy or astronomical. Now, what's interesting is, is that I think that the, the real point to understand about astrology is the reason that it has validity and that it's relevant and people have observed certain patterns over you know whatever periods of time I, I'm assuming over millennia or centuries um, is because what they're observing are the effects of magnetic current flows magnetic uh, f uh, force interactions if you consider say uh, planets like the earth um, or Jupiter, or even the Sun, or even the Moon, as electromagnetic, as electro, as large electromagnets, then obviously you can consider that that there are all kinds of interesting mag, almost like they're they're almost like giant magnets. So there's going to be some very interesting magnetic effects, and as well as what I've drawn on here, which is magnetic current flows. Now there's a few other points that I wanted to point out from this kind of perspective of astrology and and magnetism um, uh, let's see let me just summarize my basic ideas um, you don't have to read this so don't try to um, let's see so there are three basic magnetic structures um, which I've outlined in other videos uh, balanced unbalanced north and unbalanced south then there's, of course, the uh, male and female kind of polarity that changes the magnetic structures. I'm not sure if these kind of things, these astrological kind of, these magnetic differences uh, happen at conception or at birth. I'm not really sure. Um, but what's interesting is if you take the 12 signs of the zodiac, for instance, and then you take the fact that you have, you know, two sexes, male and female, and that you have three basic magnetic structures in the hu in in human beings and, and in nature really um, balanced unbalanced north and unbalanced south um, basically you end up with um, let's see here uh, three three basic kind of magnetic structures for males three basic magnetic structures for females so um, you, you basically could argue that there may be 
36 male and 36 female magnetic types of individuals. So 72 magnetic types. So 72 types of astrology rather than just 12. Um, and that the effects and the influences that, that you're seeing on, on the psychic kind of makeup of individuals and in their life are due to varying magnetic spin impressions right here. This, this whole, what you're seeing is magnetic spins and currents that impress the psyche of human beings very precisely, very exactly. You know, just like the fingerprint is, uh, you know, every individual has their own fingerprint precisely because every individual has their own magnetic imprint or impression and their fingerprint is just an expression or reflection of that. In fact, the fingerprint is, is derived from magnetic uh, spin and current flows. So um, human life is determined, Not, I wouldn't say determined in the sense that uh, deterministic, but determined by magnetic spin forces. Human relationships are influenced by magnetic interactions. Astronomy places the sun at the center, but in astrology, the earth is at the center. And the reason it's at the center, as I said, is because it's, it's the epicenter from our standpoint as human beings of all the um, magnetic forces that affect us individually and collectively. Um, so the question is, what are the possibilities and limitations of human beings if everything is fundamentally based on magnetic spins or magnetic currents, and we're in this kind of, not just a larger lattice in nature of magnetic spins and currents, but also in this kind of network of magnetic interactions um, that affect our own individual and collective magnetic structures and you know individual and collective magnetic structures in whatever kinds of ways and you know of course you know it gives a lot more lends a lot more credence to uh, two things to astrology number one if it's based on magnetic influences from um you know the sun the jupiter the planets etc and the moon as well but also um it lends credence to the the notion of a geocentric um model because a geocentric model may have nothing to do with try you know being an accurate depiction of the solar system it may have to do with being an accurate de depiction of how uh the magnetic forces in the solar system of, uh, directly relate to human life and how we need to conduct our life and i mean that's an interesting thing to consider and a heliocentric kind of model may be relevant to astronomy and cosmology but um, a geocentric may be more relevant to astrology and specifically psychology what are all of the psychological you know effects or impacts not the ones that have just been noted but can we get it to where we take astrology from being a either considered an art or a pseudoscience but to saying yes we are magnetic yes the planets are magnetic yes we have this precise imp impression not only in our fingerprint but in our whole psyche that makes us a Sagittarius say or uh, a Leo or a Taurus or a Pisces or whatever it is that that you know our sign our zodiac sign but if if this model is correct, I'm, I'm thinking that there may actually be more than 12 signs. There may actually be 72, 36 female, 36 male. And like I said, I say that because if there's 12 zodiac signs and yet there's three basic types of male and female, you know, the, the kind of individuals that are very slight, the ones that are more of a larger build, and then the ones that are average build, then you have you would have three times twelve, so you'd have at least thirty six basic types of males, um, and thirty six basic types of females. So at least at minimum, and who knows, there may be more than that. So anyway, just something to think about, and that's astrology and magnetism. So.